Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over how to confirm if your O2 sensor is actually bad if you're getting an error code such as a P0135 or 134. And what that refers to is a bad heating element within your air fuel or oxygen sensor. And so in my 2004 Honda Civic, I'm getting a P0135 right now. This was the current O2 sensor that is uh, that was in the car and it was causing it to throw the air. And so the way you verify if the heating element inside here is indeed broken is you check the resistance between the two black or the two same color wires because this these will be your heater element wires and so um what you'll find and i can't really do this with one hand but um what you'll find is when you have it set to resistance if you connect these two wires like this you'll note how we have a very low resistance rating right now but there is some resistance, it's not infinity. Right now, the resistance is essentially infinity because air conducts electricity very poorly. Um, what you'll find when you connect, I'll try to do this, this wire to this wire, is that we still get a resistance reading of infinity. And this one right here, uh, or sometimes you'll see OL, or an open loop or whatever it means, that indicates you have infinite resistance and that means that these two wires there's no continuity between these two wires and uh, basically it's just like a light bulb and the filament has burned out so there's no longer a connection inside the heater of this little o2 sensor and uh, so if that is the case which it is generally 90 percent of the time when you get those uh, types of oxygen or air fuel sensor air codes then you know you need to buy a new one of these things now uh, if you go on eBay and you purchase really cheap shit like I do, um, it is best practice to verify that the new thing will actually work. And so if we hold these two wires here like this and we check the continuity or the resistance, what I'm finding here is that even though I am connecting the two black wires, if we look here, you can see how the two black wires are the two lower pins right here. Even though I am checking the resistance between them, I still have infinite resistance on my multimeter. And so this indicates that even though this is a <laughs> brand new unit on eBay, it is still garbage and you need to buy a working one. So uh, this is a way to test if you actually have a decent O2 sensor. In this case, the brand new unit on eBay is not uh, good, so we're just going to have to return this and find a decent one that actually works and has a heater that isn't already broken. So um, I hope this helps out guys because this has been something that I've been spending a lot of time on and it can be frustrating. So um, good luck and thanks for watching.